Hey guys, it's me, Mini Fluffy One, and welcome back. Sorry, I'm having sudden loss of breath at the start of the episode. That happens a lot. Welcome back to Let's Play Kotor 2. Now, as you can see, I actually didn't notice this before, but um, there is some blue here. I'm actually light enough that blue now pops up. So in the last episode, uh, we went through the whole fuel depot thing with HK. Yeah, we went through the <coughs> whole fuel depot thing with uh, HK50. And uh, walked around the asteroid surface to get here to the dormitories because all other ways it was cut off. And we we're trying to find any miners left, basically. Terrace survival gloves? What are those? So these are exchange. Yeah, exchange casual gloves are definitely better. So, we just move forward from here, really. Oh, crap. Stun droid didn't work. Ah! Too bad my two weapon... Uh fighting is godly because I have the bonus. Plus, this is balanced. Now the fire suppression systems have gone active, and I can't even make it to the dormitory section. I watched the turrets turn their carbonite freeze rays on Mabon before he even got halfway across the room. Fortunately, their range doesn't seem to go beyond the room itself, so I was able to remain safe in the corridor. But I didn't have any ranged weapons to take them out from a distance, and I didn't have a stealth field generator to sneak across the room either. <coughs> I tried unlocking the storage room door to see if there was any cold resistance items or grenades I could use, but the door was sealed from the lockdown. I don't know enough about security systems to open it, and I didn't have a sonic charge to blow the door open. Still, as long as the droids don't make it into this section, I should be alright. Well, that's unfortunate for you, buddy, because there's droids all over here. And now I have to swap with the plasma torch to open. Here we go. Sorry if I take long gaps between talking sometimes. I have this weird uh, anxiety thing where I focus way too hard on my breathing sometimes. And it always seems to come up right before I record. And actually, I'm going to stop and take a drink because that usually helps. <sighs> okay, I think for now I'm better. So let's move forward then. I also hyper-focus my swallowing a lot, which is weird. So... Those are the gloves, and this large locker I'm gonna bash open, and I need to use a plasma torch again. Because forget standing here for five minutes, I'm just gonna smack doodle that poodle right open, and that sounds really weird. Sweet, Mandalorian melee shield. That is actually awesome. I feel well protected now. Boop! <coughs> Thank you for opening up. I need to go through... Really, when I find a workbench, I'm going to need to go through all these broken items. And, uh, oh, hey, look, a workbench. <laughs> Aren't I just lucky that worked out? Can we build any upgrade, upgrade items? Do I have any more parts to upgrade with? Darn... I don't. Well, that's unfortunate. No, that's not even what I select. No. What the hell? You are not what I selected. I selected you. All sorts of problems today. That's just annoying. Uh, let's create items now. Oh, I did get two weapon fighting, didn't I? No, no I didn't. That was in my, um, I had a little fun yesterday, afterwards. <sighs> you know, some actual weapons.
for party members would be real nice. Because I don't want to be the guy who has to end up giving Kreia a plasma torch. Oh no, spoiler alert. She becomes a party member. It's not that important. It's not. So... Uh, breakdown. Switch. View, view breakdown. There it is. Where's my broken items? Those turn into components. So, really... Broken items are actually kind of awesome. I don't care what anyone says. It's free components. <coughs> and create... Actually, let's view up. I know I'm doing this terribly, but... So this takes... What? Upgraded with some underlays. Alright. Ranged. I don't have any upgradable ranged items? Are you kidding me? The mining lasers are not upgradable. That sucks. Uh, but ranged I can make... Um. No, it's not a one on one armor. I don't know what is and is not uh actually good for the you know mining stuff. So I'm just gonna leave that alone, and we're gonna move forward. And I could make a long sword for Atten, but oh yeah, I might want to do that actually. Uh, first of all, you're gonna get blasted. If I can hit you anytime soon. Jesus Christ. Well, this is, uh... This is going great. <laughs> ba -da -da -da. Wow, that was a narrow miss if I've ever seen one. Wow, Mitra has Stormtrooper aim. Really bad Stormtrooper aim. Oh my Jesus Christ. Screw this. That was awful. That was beyond atrocious. And there's that. I believe that leads into somewhere else too. I'm not ready for that right now. I need to... You know, I will go back and make another longsword. Just so, uh... Atten has a decent weapon to use, although I think I'm about to find lots of stuff here. Uh, what do I even have in terms of melee weaponry? Oh. I literally have just this. Yeah, the minus four, because, yeah... I am t accruing a penalty, actually, so I'm, I'm just gonna not. I guess I wasn't paying attention. I thought I wasn't accruing any penalties. So we'll make a long sword, even if uh, we don't end up using it. It's okay. We can make. Oh, we don't have seven. We can make a long sword. And we can make <coughs> field survival pistols. And then we can upgrade the field survival pistols. Uh, massive criticals. And we don't have a power pack or targeting. This is the upgraded criticals one. So we want to get... Okay, 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 okay. So that one has a broadening chamber. This one will have the amplifying chamber. So now this is that, and yeah, okay, 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 okay. Bonus criticals, bonus energy damage. And then, uh, targeting scope. And then... Oh, we can't actually make one of those because we don't have a high enough skill. Um, <clears throat> awareness 6. So what does that do? Uh, 
special. This scope can increase effectiveness. Attack modifier plus one. So let's make two of those. Sorry I'm spending all of this time creating and upgrading things. I just want to get... Um, Yeah, you know. What? 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 Oh, there it is. I was really genuinely confused for a second. Oh my god, there's another rodding chamber. So this one is what? This one is what? It's the broad. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. So at least now we have some good ranged weaponry and a longsword. Because I know what's about to happen. Stuff is going to get real. People are going to get added to the party. It's a whole mess. That is unfortunate. So, I'll just chop you now. Oh, look at that. You did no damage. What a flippin' wuss. <coughs> Fire suppression droid gets stunned. Um, actually, don't don't do that. No, nope. no. Nope. All right, cool. It's fine. Wow. Everything is fine. Why does this game still feel so loud? All right, I'm try a flurry. Um, yeah, that's why you don't do that. Certain attacks are acclimated towards certain opponents. And... Nope. Stop. Just die. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Holy crap, I was not... It's a very good thing I noticed that. Uh, because now I need to find my pack, my pack. That did not work at all. That's not fair. It literally ate a med pack and did not heal me with it. Yay! Screw you. Actually die. Actually die. Actually die, please, seriously. Yeah, I always overestimate myself here. Nope, you can just take a power blast to the face with an advanced mining laser. Screw off, bub. No way I'm dumb enough to actually... Yeah. Nope. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. We're gonna do this right. Strats. Is that a fire suppression droid? That's kind of cool. I hadn't really <coughs> noticed the difference, and now we're at. Prepare the main computer. Check duty shift logs. There appear to be nothing more than long list of work assignments with the number of miners available for duty decreasing. Over the past three days, citing several medbay logs. Well, the comm system crackles to life. All you can hear is a slow hissing. Otherwise, the dormitories appear to be deathly silent. And dormitory emergency lockdown. Not that we're even here in time for that, but that's a different story. <coughs> nope. Let me loot you. All right, let's hop on in. See what's going down. I don't know why I went left first, but I went left first. Hello. Who are you here to see? All right, that's cool. Um, oh yeah. Right. I don't um I don't have a breath mask. Was I supposed to find one at some point? Is there one? Some? I swear, I don't have... Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. I know what I did. 
was not supposed to go in there yet. I am supposed to shut up. Really, I'm supposed to go. Actually, I need to kill you. You. Die. Repair yourself, scrub lord. Rapid shot is range version of flurry, by the way. Nope. Okay. And sniper shot, which is basically critical strike. Aim, fire. Nope. This is critical strike, but for range weaponry, and it's being absolutely useless right now. Alright, listen. We'll do this this way. Because that was the fastest kill, I think, ever. And... Ah! No way. Uh... Yeah, actually leave him for right now. Seriously. Why on earth would I waste... I thought that was the sound of a mining droid walking up behind me. It's just smoke. Why on earth would I use a deadly sonic mine to open up the cylinder here? Med pack and bio restorative underlay blah blah upgrade part whatever. Now we can level up. Skills, um, honestly would like. Okay, it's doing that, but counterpoint. I don't want to do that. I want that would be much better. Feats! Oh, yay! Feats! Okay, what did I do before? Uh, yeah. Weapon focus blaster pistol. Weapon proficiency. Oh, uh, yeah. Add plus one to attack with melee weapons. That's actually really useful because that is huge. Plus three bonus to all deflection rolls. Apply a bonus and penalty to this ability. Improved toughness is also available. Is that what? That's uh, conditioning. Improved conditioning. Plus two bonus to all saving throws. It's empathy. Improved empathy. Plus two to persuade awareness and treat injury. Oh yeah, baby. I may not be the best with picking powers, but... I'm pretty decent, I would say. Force push is basic. Shock, fear, slow, wound, stun. Force body, yeah, that's not what I want. Force valor is pretty good. Plus two defense and all saving throws. I get overwhelmed by choices. Uh, you can have this, by the way. Have fun with that. Yep, fully aware I'm walking into a room full of guys that want me dead. Although, I don't think these guys- OW! Listen, you stop hurling stuff. Stop it. Come dead. Just stop. Just, just, just stop, please. Alright. I gotta go fight you now before he throws more grenades at me. Excavator, you can just die. Thank you. Alright, Ion Cell. I believe that's an upgrade part. Ooh, a whole bunch of juicy stuff. Got another lecture about contraband today. Security hasn't started doing spot checks of our quarters yet, so my cash in the lower bunk in my room in the eastern dormitory should be safe. You won't even know it's there unless you know to look for it. Quarter came around again asking if I had any special cargo to sell, but I was getting a bad feeling about how I was asking, so I stayed quiet about my stash. I'm going to keep that blaster I smuggled from Telos and a few grenades there just in case things here get rough. Only benefit to having a room the furthest from the door is that it should buy me enough time to dump the contraband if security does a surprise inspection. Well, considering you're dead, some tells me that did not work out too well for you. Not, not in the slightest. You have loads of upgrade parts, though. Upgrade parts that I do intend on using while in this 
dormitory section. Enhanced energy cell, field survival kit, that's chemicals. I think before I record, I should start doing, <coughs> like, warm-ups. Like, voice warm-ups to get myself ready and get myself in the talking flow. Because I was fine after I got into the flow of things. I stopped micromanaging my breathing and all that. It's in the hue. There it is. I swear they're never going to get around to fixing the ventilation systems. And if the food processors back up again, then next time the fumes start flooding the mess hall, I'll be dead rather than just nauseous. I'll keep the breath mask here just in case we have a repeat incident. Yeah, well, everyone here is dead. So, some tells me your little breath mask idea did not work out. Maybe you should have kept it on you, and I'm going to need this, by the way. Yeah, maybe you should have kept it on you, man, because now you're, like, very dead. If you had it on you, maybe you'd be very much alive, although I don't know how long these things would last, in theory. I believe that is actually the way out, right? Yeah, we don't want to go there yet. We want to go explore the dormitory section, and also uh, blast open this door. Because there's goodies in it. Oh, and there's droids in it, too. That I was not aware of. Probably should have been, because there's droids all over this freaking mining station, but it's whatever. Alright. I mean... Thank you for the minor sonic detonator. And time to switch with the... Plasma torch. Bash that open. Keep it out in case there's lockers on the other side that need bashing. There's one. You know, I really need to invest in some security skills so I don't have to bash literally everything. So, you know, maybe next level up, maybe, just maybe, I should pay attention to getting, nope, stop, to getting some security, because honestly, I think that would be really helpful right now, and I'm going to go use, uh, well, actually, no, I'm going to use the upgrade parts before I leave here. Now I can safely walk into this section. The dormitory, and there's the administration officer corpse. Mine administrator log. This hollow log looks like it needs to be plugged into a hollow reader in order to play back its contents. I don't know why that updated everything, but okay. Search for hollow display entries. Okay, insert minor administrator hollow log. Access entry. This may be the beginning of a long record. It's about an hour after the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are- Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, she could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to her? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. And inventory and supplies. <coughs> I took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe she could... No. She's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's played us for fools. And since Korda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. If I ever catch up with that Mandalorian loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working. Even Convenient though they're tied cut off. The... Hey, what's happening to the ventilation system? It's... Yeah. 
Yep. And that is the fate of the miners. All right, thank you for that uh, nice little bonus there. Now to explore the dormitories. Blah, blah, blah. This door will only open with a mine, so let's open it. All right, thank you, Foot Locker. <clears throat> Just components, which kind of sucks. Oh, maintenance, medical. That's, I thought that was maintenance for a second. Uh, what did I just see? I swear I just saw a little thingy, but I guess I'm just going insane. All right. Next room, search his corpse. Credits. Nothing in his foot locker. That's okay. Ooh. <sighs> see, like if I had security. I wouldn't have to break open this godforsaken footlocker. I could just open it. Maybe picking a Jedi Sentinel would have been better. Honestly, because any of them matter. This is the upgraded one. The one that gets bonus ion damage. Um, because of the upgrade that was given to it. There you are, and that is, is that really this entire path? I guess the more interesting dormitory is the eastern one. Oh yeah, I forgot about the droids for a bit. Ha! <laughs> Man, I, I actually had enough of a break to stop and relax for a minute, that was crazy. Oh well. Too bad everyone is still dead. Oh, you know what? I'm too lazy to get out of Plasma Torch. We're just gonna do it this way. Repeating bl- Oh, boy. Okay, what is that? 2-12, not upgradable. But, a repeating blaster carbine. Uh, what is a repeating blaster carbine? Is this one-handed or two? This is a blaster rifle. There's the heavy mining laser, which is... doesn't say it's not upgradable, but then there's this. Well, that's pretty cool. Now I definitely have some good range stuff, and maybe I didn't need to waste those components on, um... building those slightly upgraded field survival pistols. Oh, for... I'm just gonna keep the plasma torch out right now because I'm just gonna need it over and over again. Also, Cannon Exile had a blaster pistol, like a regular one. I know, I need to plug it in, just leave me alone. Ooh, grips and pinpoint scopes, there it is. More upgrade parts. Let's me in. This is the one with the bunk. Yeah. Ion grenade, blaster pistol, frag grenade, med packs. Cool. Blaster pistols are not upgradable. The most common range is firing a bolt of intense coherent. That's kind of stupid that it's not upgradable because it's so basic. You know, you'd think it wouldn't be so basic, but it is. Anyway. Okay, that's the entire... Nope, no, it's not, not yet. There's this. Alright, now... I can get... My longsword back. Alright, cool. And insert... Okay, scavenge for parts, log out. And then I have to insert this into the other... Um, thing to get the log and these logs are important to getting out of here technically I mean if you pay deep attention and you care that much insert dock officer log 
Access entry. We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console's been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. Fuel depot force field. <sighs> the situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level, and we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship, or a Telos freighter. Distress transmission. Manage to use the hollow transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. <sighs> the messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? Very fair point. Unfortunate for you guys. Very unfortunate. But also, uh, I'm going to put the survey gear on. And we going to go forward and out. Now we can go to the last section and actually exit. By the way, the dormitory in the map is real nice. And exit the dormitory section. Here we are. Let's find these corpses. And oh my, it's the quarter we've heard so much about. Minor log. And then corpses. Lots of stuffs. Lots of yummy, yummy goodies. Certainly does give you a lot of stuff. Oh, I said I was gonna upgrade parts. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do that first. Sorry. <laughs> Need to upgrade some things first before I go. So now I have to go back to the beginning level of the dormitory section. And get these upgrades done. There's the workbench. We're gonna just do some simple upgrades to some stuff. Hopefully, my stuff is like we will like well upgradable. We have some stuff. Okay, upgrade my long sword. Ah, uh, I can't put an energy cell on it. That's unfortunate. But the agrinium grip adds a damage bonus for slashing so now it's 213 plus one for iron with 20 20 times two and this one has nothing and then these um unhit property solidity c for it's i don't exactly like that yeah, it's not the best, but this can be upgraded now with the biorestorative underlay, so now that has... Nope, that's not what I want. So now that actually regenerates health, which is nice. And I guess that's all we can do. So pretty minimal upgrades, but you know, anything will help. Now let's get on out of this dormitory section and back to the admin level this episode I'm pretty sure is a more lengthy than I expected it to be so I'm glad I kind of cut off last episode I thought it was gonna be too short also, let's go through here, make sure there's not anything I can click. Nope, it's just gonna do that anyway, because I don't know why it does. No!
Dang it. Oh. Well. I wanted it to read the freaking... Can I read it in the other room? Is that a thing? I can't go back, because obviously I haven't saved at all, which, by the way, is pretty idiotic of me. I want to see if I can stick this in the holo reader. I don't think I can. But, uh, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift. When okay, uh, insert minor holo. Quarter log active, log encrypted, decode encryption. Okay. What did you want to talk to me about? I have to suit up and drill the 3219K asteroid claim within the hour, so talk quick. I heard you had plans for the Jedi, about selling her to the exchange. Yeah, but security already set their piece on that, didn't they? Nobody's getting sold to anyone. Are they? I've seen the logs you've been accessing. Maybe the two of us could work something out. It doesn't matter what we work out. We wouldn't make one hyperspace jump before what's left of the Republic was on us. If you have a way off this station, I can cover our tracks and ensure the Republic is not alerted to our presence. Well, I may know someone. Works the system on special jobs. He may want to know details, but I might be able to arrange transport. I've seen the logs. I know you've already asked him and given the details. Once he agrees, I can handle the rest. Handle the rest? Like how? When the time comes, I'll contact you via comlink. Maintenance out. Since when did the maintenance officer grow some horns? Dang it. That's unfortunate. And I poisoned myself. Well, guess I'll never get to see... Uh, so there's a hollow recording of them arguing at the doorway. And basically what happens is... HK shows up and he kills all of them and it is revealed that HK is the mastermind behind this whole thing and he's played all of them for fools and I'm mad that I accidentally blew up the terminal but here we go here we go hello Kraya I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. Enemy? The one that fired upon the Ebon Hawk as we attempted to rescue you. And he will not let us go without blood being shed. Hmm. <laughs> That's a great line. No. Wait, who is this enemy? The story is a long one, and time is short. Come, we must go, and quickly. Alright, let's go. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. Grey has joined your party when she's a her mentor special ability gives everyone a bonus start experience points. I hear you. Cool beans. We got Kraya now, boyos. Um we're gonna auto level her up because screw that. Um, and we're gonna give... Oh, yeah, no, we can't give her that stuff. Um, energy shield, progress mining shield. That's not right. <laughs> uh, gloves, gloves, gloves. Just Terra survival gloves we'll give her. I'm not giving her any headgear because screw that. Uh, plus one fortitude. We'll give her the cardio regulator. Cardio regulator. Jesus. She gets a vibro cutter, and then she can have one of the many variants. Why do I have variants of the mining laser? That's weird. Um. Okay. 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 Sonic pistol. She's not... Okay. Yeah, right, right, right. Two-handed weapon. She can't use... That's right. Okay, so she'll get the field survival pistols. And there's that. And I, you know what? We're gonna keep going, but we're gonna save first. We're gonna keep going, and we're gonna save first. Um, because... 
this isn't exactly the smoothest stopping point now because everything has gone nuts. I know what the smooth stopping point will be, so let's go, Kraya. Now we're being followed by invisible men. That's not terrifying. I believe there's a dialogue option I can stop her. Hold on, stop. What is it? This is not the... It's time for answers. Who's pursuing us and why? They are assassins. And they are responsible for the attack on the Ebon Hawk and the Harbinger. I did not expect them to find us so quickly. We must escape this facility. If we remain here, then we will die. Very well. My cryptic standoffish routine is starting to anger me. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? Uh, Adam, there's no time to explain. Grab a weapon and follow me. Uh, alright. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. As joined your party, as long as he isn't the last party member standing, he can't be knocked out and his saving throws improve the more he's wounded. Yeah, Adam's kind good of Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. No, you are clear. I just, uh, what do you mean? Clarification. Master, your well-being is of the highest importance to me. I was forced to intercede here on Paragus to ensure your survival. Are you the one who killed all the miners in the medical way? Indignant answer. Master, the miners intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of flawlessly timed explosions drove the miners into their dormitories where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. And so you ordered the mining droids to kill me? Answer? You misunderstand me, Master. Those droids were there to guard you. As I said, I did not anticipate you awakening from the tank. You are quite a hardy specimen for a Jedi. A wrong toe among humans, if you will indulge me the metaphor. Besides, as you proved, Master, such droids could never pose a threat to a Jedi. The droids were custodial in nature, cleaning the facility of other distractions. That's dark. Why did you want to capture me? Answer. It is beyond the scope of my programming to probe the motivations of my clients, Master. Suffice to say that I am being well compensated for my services. You have been a difficult target to find. You have been wandering the galaxy since the end of the Mandalorian Wars, leaving little record of your passage. It is as if you did not wish to be found by hunters such as myself, or more likely, the Jedi Order. You found me. Obviously, I didn't do a good job. Admission. It was a matter of chance, Master. I happened to be serving as a protocol droid on the Harbinger when you booked passage. After that, it was a simple matter to sabotage the Harbinger and call for a retrieval. Irritated statement. However, when the Ebon Hawk appeared and salvaged us from the wreckage, I was forced into a series of rapid recalculations, culminating in our current situation. Who is this client of yours? Chiding answer. My programming renders me incapable of revealing the identity of my client, Master. However, 
I am free to say that my client is wealthy and very interested in possessing the last of the Jedi. How did you find me? Admission. Oh yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. So what now? Are you gonna kill me? Answer. No, Master. Killing you was never the intention. If you resist my attempts to return you to your Kalto tank, however, I may inadvertently fracture your skeleton in several places to incapacitate you. Damn. I don't want to fight you, but I will if you leave me no other choice. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. Yeah. Pause for a second. Let's auto level up. I don't really manually level up uh, party members. Atten! Congratulations, you have a repeating blaster carbine, and then swap, and you get a long sword, and then you have your rib jacket, which is actually medium armor, which is cool. Melee shields, progress mining shield, I guess. Breath mask, nothing there. Exchange casual gloves, make him a god. So his stance will be ranged. Nope. I want him. Nope. Nope. I don't want that. I want ranged. Thank you. He's gonna be ranged. She will be Jedi support. Use aggressive behavior. Uh, and let's all use guns. Seriously. I'm not about to have Kraya Kamikaze like she does every time I play this. Every one down. Time to even the odds. Like seriously, every time I play this game, she's just kamikaze. Fire. All right, we'll do it this way then. Seriously. Focus. Come on, this is ridiculous. Got it. I will silence this one. This shall not stop us for long. Ugh. Switching to combat mode. Three, two, oh no, 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 no. Systems failing, master. That's supposed to get you. Like that's supposed to I trick hear you, you, man. It didn't work. Oh, she gave me super speed. Okay. Here we are. That's an advanced mining laser, seriously? Droid self-sustaining unit, HK vocabulator. If I didn't grab this, there's a specific bonus quest I'd never be able to complete. Alright, HK vocab, droid self-sustaining, advanced mining laser. <sighs> we can get to the docking bay. Because again, this isn't the best of uh, stopping points. I know it is. That's the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. I know where I'm going to stop, and it's very soon. Very soon, but I just wanted to make sure to get through all that. Harbinger Command Deck. Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. <laughs> No, 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 um... Calm down. We need a plan, not accusations. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Hmm. I saw this vessel dock. When it did, a fuel pipe entered the fuel depot behind the force field. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on... It wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field. 
Unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragas ever recorded. And how did this ship dock here? Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Nava computer. They'd have to. Uh, so let's get their codes then. Then we can worry about reaching the Evan Hawk. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Yeah, I know, I know. Our enemies gather while we wait here. <laughs> Seriously, some of these are just really rude. Soak up some blaster shots. Forgive me, Cray. I was distracted for a moment. I'll be more mindful of the present. Very well. Influence gained. Cray up. Journal entry added. Now, this is a smooth stopping point. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you're new here, do subscribe and hit that bell button for a notification on all my new videos. Have a wonderful day. Peace.